Today's video is going to be another drawing, but it's not so much about drawing. We are going to do a drawing, but it's about learning how to see. So today we're going to learn how to draw what you see, not what you think you see. Let's go. For today's drawing, I went to Google and searched for a copyright free image of a bird. We are using shape drawing today to draw this. And I know that you've seen shape drawing before when you're a little kid. You may have seen books just like this at your library. To learn how to draw realistically, you must use your art x-ray vision. You have to observe an object to see what types of basic shapes you should use. Discovering these shapes can be tricky. It takes a lot of practice with observation, but you can do it. We're going to start off with the head. Here we go. Okay, I'm in the middle of editing, and I know what you're already thinking. I don't want to do this shape drawing. It's not what I need to do. I already know how to draw this. It's not going to be that big of a deal. I promise you, this is what you need to do. I do this today. Every drawing, every drawing that I do, I'm starting with shapes, and I'm building from that. It's not for babies. It's for everybody. A basic circle that's going to be representing our head. Next, we're going to start drawing the body. We need to understand that the body is going to be using our head as our initial measurement. So the body is going to take up about two heads tall. So also notice that at the angle of our body is not straight down. It's, it's pitched to the out, outside. And I'm using my pencil and my thumb to recreate that length of a head. So that unit of the head, again, is going to be repeated twice to create our body length. You can see here I'm drawing the circles. You don't typically have to draw the circles, but I'm drawing them so you can see what I'm doing. Also checking the depth, like how far should the body stick out past the head. That's why I drew a line straight down from the head. And then I'm bringing the head and the body together with just a few lines. Okay, now we're getting into a little bit more detailed areas like the wings. So you're gonna want to just start drawing details and you have to resist that urge. The whole point of shape drawing is to get your proportions right. So to make sure that the wing is the right size, shape, and direction, we need to use these basic shapes because we're not worried about details. We're only worried about, is it the right size? Is it the right place? Is it the right angle? Now we're going to start drawing the wings, and the wings are made up of two major shapes. You have your oval here, and then kind of a rectangular type shape. The wing is represented by three and a half heads tall. I'm beginning the wing, I'm breaking things down, and I'm measuring out my three and a half heads tall. double checking my measurements to make sure I have the proper lengths and I just block in my forms the rest of the video is going to be about me going in and adding details and shading and textures and this is only done after after you've made sure to put in everything at the right size, right shape, right place, right angle, all that stuff. So go back and double check your work, make sure it feels proportionally the right size and right place. And then if you've done that, then you start going back and adding your textures and shading. So everything else, like I said, beyond this point is going to be details. So I'm blocking in the angle of the leg. I'm blocking in the basic forms of the branch that the bird is sitting on, which was essentially two rectangles. And then I'm starting to block in details. A lot of people may not consider things like the beak or the eye to be a detail because they see it as a major form, but it is. It's detail. And then I just break down my individual textures of the wings and where they're going to reside, always referencing that original photo. As long as you continue to look back at the photo, you are drawing what you see and not what you remember or not what you're thinking. I'm also blocking out not just the textures of the feathers, I'm also blocking out where the color changes are going to go.
I hope you use these tips next time you do a drawing. When you're using any reference, make sure to draw what you see, not what you think you see, by using shape drawing as a guide. If you like today's video, go ahead and click on this one too. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to Create Art with Chris right here. Thank you.